Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at the game Bat Landlord. Now, this is a three to eight player game, and it's published by Bat Landlord Games. In this game, you're going to be playing like an apples to apples or card against humanity style game where you're going, one player is going to play the role of the landlord, you're going to flip a card, and the other players are going to try to play a card that is like funny or at least something that the landlord is going to pick as the best. You're going to continue on and the first person to six points is going to win let's go ahead down the table here i'll show you the components go over that just brief rules again real quick and then we'll come back and i'll give you my final thoughts all right so this is bad landlord this is going to be functioning similar to apples to apples if you ever played that game in there so basically what you're going to do is you're going to have each round each uh you're going to have a judge and this is gonna go for six rounds. So each round you have a judge and, and all the other players are gonna have cards that they can put out and the judge is gonna pick which one is gonna be the best. So basically what you're gonna do is you're going to draw seven cards if you're not the uh, landlord and then the judge or landlord is going to flip over the top card here and read it out loud to the other players. And this one's wake up call. You notify, uh, what is it, uh, Princella, uh, that you need to stop by for an appraisal. Princella doesn't want to tell her roommates. You wo uh, you wake one of them up when you enter the, and scare her half to death. Princella threatens to sue. And this situation is a true story. So then each player is going to pick one of these cards right here and play it. Now, they're going to try to uh, take which situation works best for that to make it funny and the judge is gonna fix, pick which one is the best out of those and then uh, they'll get a point and the person with the most points after six rounds wins. So like this one here, ask how their life is going you know just different things that may fit with that situation you'll pick one and put them down there is another mode to this game which is going to be the intense landlord and uh the same thing with this one players judge or players draw seven cards the judge will flip over the top card uh from this black landlord deck and all other players will pick one of the cards from the hand place it face down and one by one, each player will flip over their card and act out for the judge. The judge will pick the best one at that point, and then everyone, and then the play continues for the sixth round. So, uh, in the less intense one, they just the judge reads over all the cards that the people picked, and they just pick the funniest or best one for it. And that's it. That is the game, Bad Landlord. Let's go ahead back up to the table here, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. So Bad Landlord, if you like apples to apples or card against humanity or um, what was that? Uh, Trust me, I'm a doctor. Any of those type of games, you're going to probably like Bad Landlord. Now, this one here is unique in some ways because of the Bad Landlord cards. Some of them are true events. So I like how they did some resources, research and find like some of these zany, weird things that uh, people have done and either tried to sue or weird things that had, had interaction with landlords or other tenants in the building. And I think they put a lot of time in the cards themselves that go to play or the red cards where they, they put them out and the phrases and their sentences and the well, little, some of them have like full paragraphs on there that they put down. And they thought more of the party theme of the game with the uh, intense landlord side where people had to act out what was happening. So this game is going to be completely uh, on whether you have the gaming group for it, whether you have a group of friends or whatever that like playing these type of games, this game will be for you if you do. So if you have game nights where you play uh, Apples Apple or Card Against Humanities or, or any of those type of games and you're looking for like a new theme, like you like the, the uh, landlord theme with like sort of like uh, different incidents or just interested in like just the weird things that can happen uh, for lawsuits and other things, uh, you probably want to check out this game, which is going to be Bad Landlord. Thank you for watching.